Welcome back everybody. As you probably guessed from the title of the video, we are testing armor again. It's kind of what we do here. And uh, this time it is a level four standalone plate from Universal Armor. These are sold in pairs. We have obviously our multicam finish here. They also have one that is a black multicam. You can pick, but it is a 10 by 12 plate. And what's cool about it is it's not all that thick. It's right at an inch on the dot. It is curved as you guys can see there. But the really cool thing in my opinion is that it's lightweight. So this thing weighs 5.7 pounds. So five pounds and nine ounces on my scale at home. And you're getting supposedly, we'll find out level four protection. It is made out of a ceramic up front, which should bust the bullets up. And then behind it, we do have UHWMPE. Obviously, I've tested a lot of plates that have a similar uh, material in them, materials rather, in them. But this is one of the lightest ones that we've taken a look at so far that claims to be able to stop 30-06 armor penetrating. So we will test that today. Uh, we filled up some uh, boxes with sand that we're going to use as sort of a backstop to have something behind it because uh, obviously I am not an NIJ lab and don't have the ability to put it through that set of testing. We just do our own consistent redneck testing out here and uh, the results speak for themselves. On the back, you may have noticed there is no rating on there. There is no date, so it is not NIJ certified if somebody who's really into that uh you're just going to want to look at a different plate um, but we will put it over there on the table and start shooting it before we actually shoot the plate i want to thank the sponsor of today's video and that is gunspot for folks who don't know gunspot is an online auction site where if you don't already have an account it's very quick to make one and then you can log in and start buying selling bidding etc on various types of items basically if you like what we do here on the channel the types of stuff we use you will like the types of things that are on sale over there at gunspot so again thank you to them now let's mess this plate up Whenever testing armor, I always debate between working all the way up with smaller stuff or just going for the biggest, but we're going for the biggest. So 30 out six, armor piercing, black tip ammo coming out of my Springfield former sniper rifle, which is kind of crazy if you think about that. That's a video for another day. Lots of barrel length. We are at about 10 feet right now. So essentially muzzle velocity distance. And let's see if it can live up to its rating. As y'all just saw from the slow-mo, we center punched it a little bit high, which is what we we're going for. And that is our back face deformation. But as you can see, obviously it didn't pass through. It threw ceramic back at me. I got some of my legs, ceramic frag. I'm kind of used to it by now, but it stopped it. What's cool about this, is a good time to explain as any, is that all of the rifle calibers like um, M855, 556, 7.60 by 39 and stuff like that, they're dependent on that ceramic to break the bullet up as it enters. And then the UHWMPE in the back should catch it. Now, the beauty of it is, um, even in the area with no ceramic, pistol rounds should stop just fine. We'll keep shooting it and probably find that out here in just a second, but we'll test out a few different rounds there to see what kind of rifle rounds it will stop. And then eventually we're gonna kill it because that's what we do here on the channel. But before we do that, we'll keep testing it. Up next, we actually have a round that this is not rated for. This is a Remington 223 45 grain hollow point. So it's gonna be going quite fast out of our 16 inch Smith & Wesson barrel here. Again, we're at about 10 feet. Again, it is not rated for this. I have no idea how it's gonna do. We'll find out. That round has previously penetrated level four stuff. So uh, we had our impact right here, a broken up ceramic as you saw, and it stopped it. So good on them for that. Uh, now let's try a different 5.56 round. Next up here, we have some Federal M855 green tips, and we're gonna be running it through a 16 inch Colt 6520. Eight five five entrance, as you guys saw, some back face deformation, but absolutely no penetration. Let's keep going. Some Red Army Standard seven point six two by three nine. That is a full metal jacket out of a sixteen inch Wasser. Let's see. That's close. Ah. 
I actually yanked that shot. I was kind of going for here. Got it a little bit close to our 855 where the ceramic may have been damaged. But as you guys saw there, there's our entrance hole. No penetration, so it still stopped it. Let's keep going. Up next, we have a load that this is 100% not rated for in any way. This is the 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum, a 260 grain bullet coming out of my eight inch Smith & Wesson 460 Magnum, as the name would indicate. Got a lot of power, guys, a lot. So we'll see what happens here. <laughs> the plate didn't move all that much, which a lot of times in armor testing means that something went through it. So obviously we had our hole right there and it did not go through. It absolutely stopped it. So we're gonna keep going. Next up, we have some 12 gauge buckshot coming out of my 590 SPS. And uh, again, we're at like 10 feet, so it's nine pellet. Oh. Obviously we had our pattern impact here and push the back out even more, but it still stopped it because again, despite that damaged ceramic on there, the UHWMP can still stop stuff going at pistol velocities and that round out of the that particular barrel, which is a 14 inch barrel, it's got about 1200 uh, feet per second coming out of it. So it's going out pretty hot, stopped it just fine. Up next, we have more of that 45 grain Remington 223 coming out of a 12 and a half inch Roscoe barrel here and uh, select fire lower. And I think we're gonna kill the plate. I have it taped, so hopefully it stays in place, but eh, we'll see. <laughs> Let's check it out. Long time viewers of the channel tend to know that when we have a scenery change in an armor video, it's generally not good for the armor. Now, I predicted that was going to go through for a couple reasons. Number one, we were just bag dumping into it uh, at 10 feet. And the big one though, is that the ceramic was already damaged and it was eventually going to hit a part of the plate that was damaged. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, you guys know better than me exactly how many we got in there, but because you guys have seen the slow-mo, all this broken ceramic is what is typically, in, when it's in good functioning order, stopping those rifle rounds. And uh, obviously when you come through the back, we actually, Oh, ceramic fell down. We actually only had two that came out. This one up top barely came out. You can see that it's kind of tearing at it, which is indicative that, you know, the UHW MPE there is trying to stop it. But this one, I'd be willing to bet, went through with a spot that had absolutely no ceramic because that was clean through it, absolutely no resistance at all. But again, it stopped a whole bunch of those. And again, we were at 10 feet. <laughs> so that's asking a lot of an armor plate and it definitely lived up to its level four rating. Once again, the key thing about this plate, in my opinion anyway, is going to be that it's lightweight. So a typical like standard level four plate of 10 by 12 that is curved has a weight of around eight pounds. That's normal. So to have one come in 2.3 pounds lighter than that is not insignificant. Anybody who's worn body armor professionally will tell you that having, you know, 4.6 pounds not on your back and shoulders pulling down on you all day, especially when it's hot on a day like today is huge. It's worth a lot. So uh, speaking of worth, what do these things cost? I should mention before I even go there that these were sent out for review. So I appreciate that, just full disclosure on that one. But these right now for a set, so for two, come in at $399. And if you look around at sort of competitive offerings out there on the market, it's pretty good, especially if weight is something that you are concerned with, then this is one that I would take a look at for sure. Again, it's not NIJ certified. So if you work in a department or something like that, that's mandated gonna have to move on to the next plate but for most folks out there that don't need that requirement it's gonna do the job just fine from what we've seen here today so 
that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, you can post them down below in the comment section. If you like this type of video and you're not subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe button. We break armor here all the time. It's kind of one of the main things that we do on the channel. Additionally, if you are signed up and subscribed and hit the notification bell, turned it to all, um, and you're still not seeing two to four videos a week here on the channel, make sure you sign up for my email at the website on your screen here. This email goes out at most once a month, and it just has all of the videos since the previous email went out. So that way there's no big social media giant censoring your eyes from my content. And uh, if something like this goes on sale, anything else that we talk about here on the channel, gear, etc., cetera, uh, goes up on sale, we will send it out in our daily deals email, and you can sign up for that at the website here on your screen, as the name indicates. It goes out every day and it contains six or seven of the best deals that we find around the internet. And uh, basically if it's in that email, it's the cheapest I know of anywhere on the internet at that particular time. So that way it saves you guys some time. You don't have to look and saves you some money because uh, obviously it's cheaper than anywhere else. And with that, we'll close the video out. Thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you that watches the channel and supports what we do here. And I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.